The Threat Research Unit at Qualys identified and reported some flaws recently with the Need Restart package. For those unfamiliar, Need Restart is a utility that scans the system to determine that the services, whether they needed to be restarted after applying shared library updates in a manner that avoids a complete system reboot. This package is used in many distros, but this is not a platform-wide issue as many distros do not use it as well. Ubuntu started using this package in 21.04, so if you're using Ubuntu or something based on Ubuntu, be sure to upgrade to get this patch as soon as possible, because Qualys said the flaws are trivial to exploit. It is believed that these vulnerabilities were introduced in Need Restart 0.8 in April 2014. Uh, it's important to note that while these flaws are easily exploited and you need to update as soon as possible, it's not as scary as it sounds. Well, th this is a flaw that requires an attacker to already have access to the system before they can exploit it at the, it's a, it's a local ex escalation flaw. So of course you should still run updates as soon as possible, but it is not as insane as it sounds like a 10 year long bug that was found, which was not affecting everyone for that all those 10 years. But a lot, a lot of the times you'll see people talking about uh, on the articles that it's a, a decade long bug or something like that. If you have critical systems though, like an enterprise company or something that you should probably address this immediately, like, like now. Though if you are using RHEL or something in the Red Hat family like Fedora, then you likely won't be affected unless you manually chose to implement it because they do not ship this utility since DNF has similar functions built in. Now, I'm not trying to downplay this or anything. Most of these flaws have a CVE rating of 7.8 out of 10. So it's pretty high on the severity case. Uh, and these need, re need restart exploits allow local privilege escalation or LPE, which means that a local attacker is able to gain root privileges, which is not good, but it is solvable just by running updates. So go do that.